Hello, I'm Tristan Reyes, and this is Gaming Instincts TV. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was one of the Switch's best hits when it first released. Well, now that it's getting announced to be getting a sequel, there's tons of things to expect. We at Gaming Instincts will tell you the top 10 features that we would like to see in Breath of the Wild's sequel. Number 10. Save Recipes In-Game This feature is more of a quality of life update. Look, I love cooking in Breath of the Wild. Just gather up a bunch of ingredients, put them in the pot, and watch it simmer. Aside from how unbelievably easy it is to cook, remembering the recipes may be a problem to most people. After realizing that you can't mix and match buffs, cooking can be pretty straightforward. But what about those few special recipes that require some higher quality ingredients that you may not remember? Well, those probably deserve to be ran down, but an in-game cookbook would be cool too. Number 9. More Mounts So Breath of the Wild has several different types of horses in it. It's got plain colored ones, ones with spots, and a couple of rare horses like Ganon and Zelda's horse. You can also ride a couple of animals such as a bear. While I do believe that the game could use some more mounts in this case. After witnessing Link ride a bear and a rare motorcycle, I think that the sequel can handle a few more animals for Link to ride, such as the elephant seeing the teaser. Number 8. Fishing You can catch fish in this game, but not actually fish. That's right everyone, you just jump into the water and straight up pick up the fish as you swim. That's a bit odd and feels almost less rewarding. Fish are indeed important in the game, and fishing would probably slow things down. Well, we never see any rare types of fish to cook or sell, and I think that fishing would be a pretty good pastime in Breath of the Wild sequel. Number 7. Methods of Transportation So, we have a horse, we have motorcycles, and we have bears. But surely there are other ways to get around besides finding the biggest mountain and just glide everywhere. Maybe we can have other types of transportation other than teleporting to a stable to get your horse back. In the past, we rode trains and rode boats, so maybe one of those two will make a return in the sequel. Number 6. More Overworld Events Not a lot happens when you're exploring on your own, other than the way where dragons that appear in certain areas and the blood moon that happens once in a while, and that's about it. The only other types of effects in the world include rain and thunderstorms, which can electrocute a metal out Link. We also occasionally meet a passerby on the road that may or may not be a Yiga Assassin but they're not too big of a problem. I think that we can probably go for more types of weather effects and more types of events to happen around the overworld. Such as becoming a wolf during a full moon? Probably not, but we can dream. Number 5. Bigger and better cities and towns. Remember Twilight Princess in the town of Hyrule? It was basically a fun little hub area that had just about everything. There was a shop that your friend worked at that gradually became the best one in town. There was a carnival where you can win prizes in if you use your grapple hook correctly. And do you guys remember the man who turned into a statue? I do, and saving him and his cat was a very big payoff. Aside from gang missions, I think that some other ways towns could be improved is to have more dynamic events such as an enemy raid from some bandits or monsters. Otherwise the towns feel like little checkpoints where you stop by for a minute rather than an actual interactive town. Which is fine, but they could add more in the next game. Number 4. Swimming and Boating So for some reason, Link has no underwater swimming capabilities. He can kind of doggy paddle in some waters before drowning and swim in some shallow water to grab a fish or two, but not fully swim underwater. While this may be a relief for anybody who is afraid of swimming underwater to fight giant eels, the game felt a bit strange knowing that you can't swim underwater even in Zora's domain. Additionally, we can probably hope that boats will make a return. Though the only way I could see that working is if the sequel revolved around exploring different types of islands in open sea adventure, just like Wind Waker. But if we can hope to go fishing in Zelda ever again, we can have some boats. Number 3. Enemy Variety Do you guys know how many Bokoblins and Moblins are around in this game? There are so many of these guys in camps, they have strong weapons, and they have rare treasure. Of course it does get monotonous after seeing your 50th Bokoblin defending a watchtower in a camp. You just know that there's Maybe one too many of these guys. Aside from the Wizrobes and Lizalfos hiding around, these guys are the main cannon fodder in the game. If we can get something new in this game, we can hope to find some more types of enemies to fight around Hyrule, or wherever we're taken to next. Number 2. Shrine Variety After around your 30th shrine, you may notice that designs for each shrine don't necessarily differ. Sure, the puzzles are unique to each shrine and you can find several ways to complete them, but the overall design of each shrine is all just ancient stones and glowing blue energy. It definitely doesn't change around your 100th shrine, 
Hopefully we can get a bit more variety in between the shrine designs later in order to break the monotony. And number one, play as someone else. As much as we like Link, Breath of the Wild shows many characters and champions that aid you on your adventure against the Divine Beasts. Of course, the champions of Breath of the Wild may not be in the sequel, but Zelda herself makes a great candidate as a playable character. She is well and alive and is seen traveling alongside Link since the events of Breath of the Wild, or something like that. So maybe she'll play an important role in the next game as usual. Well, here's something else. There's a possibility that since she's traveling with Link, she may be a co-op character to help Link alongside his new adventure. While there's nothing official about this, I think this will work in either co-op or just stand alone in some missions. For now, we can only hope. Well, this is the top 10 features we'd like to see in Breath of the Wild's sequel. This has been Gaming Instincts, and I'll see you soon. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like, subscribe if you want, and make sure to check out our website over at GamingInstincts.com for more gaming content from an unbiased perspective.